Bye, 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 bye. I got some gossip for you today. Peach McIntyre vinegar. I wonder where she gonna stay. Hey guys. You know, it's kind of awful. I just instantly had a feeling of, girl, you singing. And somebody get finna get put at. They finna get put at. Why is you singing, girl? Well, I'm singing because it ain't me. That's why I'm singing. Um, not that I want it to be anybody. But y'all, let's get into this damn tea. So, on the 10th of July, 2024, there was a dispossessory filed on Miss Peach McIntyre. And yes, I owe shout out to another channel because they broke the news first. But you know, in true Miss Mob fashion, I have to get the uh, deets and docs for y'all. Now, I don't have the actual complaint uh, because it is under redaction, which means they are making it uh, to where it can be shown publicly. They probably do that in that county since... You know, they probably have celebrities and whatnot that stay in the area, but I digress. They did file, and let me go ahead and say this up front. She does not owe any money. She is not getting put out because she did not pay her rent. She is probably getting put out because of HOA violations. Now, whomever owns her house, obviously, is the true member of the HOA. However... If she's causing them enough hardship that they're being fined and things of that nature, she obviously is not getting along with people. Remember, just a week or so ago, she doxxed one of her neighbors because of the trash can. And instead of her, when she had issues with the HOA, just going ahead and um, fixing them and moving on by her damn business, she want to do that tit for tat shit. See, that works in the ghetto black tit for tat community, but everybody don't play like that. And so that lady got with the got with, and she probably co contacted through the HOA, the owner of the house, and they just probably are tired of being contacted. Sorry, guys, I needed some water. Anyway, so she is being evicted. Um, it was filed yesterday electronically by the company that uh, represents the guy. Uh, it was not uh, filed by the actual homeowner. And again, um, when the actual case filing and citation is available, the complaint, aka, I will make that available to you guys. We will definitely go over it. But as of right now, I do have a copy of the um, cover sheet and summons. And um, I will give you the case number information if it's something that you would like to confirm for yourself. But, you know, I got you over here. Anyway, guys, tell me what y'all think about this. While she's up and down the street trying to pay you back for that one, honey, they said, ba-boom. Bam, bam, bam. And they not only pay her ass back. They up the ante on that ass because, quite frankly, if she has a lot of HOA violations and things of that nature, she's not the owner. They can't take the house from her. Well, actually, that's what he's doing is taking his house back and going on about his business and finding somebody who probably could rent the property for little to nothing. I mean, who the hell wants to fight with people? Let's keep it real. Anyway, guys, that's the groove and news I think y'all want to use for today. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Dress yourself in one of the expressive t-shirts from Kush Online. Over 109 styles and 18 colors. Kush takes the stress out of getting dressed. Okay, Grandma. Now take us on out of here. Grandma, you going to get me fired. Dang. Stop what you're doing and go follow Gamble with Mish right now.